Hello everyone and welcome back to another enlightening tutorial. Today we are going to explore a crucial aspect of working with Node.js and MySQL. Getting the last inserted ID after adding data to your database. This might sound like a small detail but it is a powerful technique that can greatly enhance your application's functionality. Now let's start discussion this topic. So this is our testing database. And under this, we have one user table with table column like ID, name and email. So we will insert data into this table and get last inserted ID in Node application. First we have to download Express Framework and MySQL library. So here in terminal, first we have goes into working folder. And after this, we have run this command, which will download Express Framework. And after this, for download my SQL2 library, we have run this command. Now we have goes to working directory, and here, we have already created server JavaScript file, and form HTML file. First we have open form HTML file, and under this, we have to create form. So here we have to write form tag with method is equal to post. And action is equal to slash submit. So it will send form data to this route. Now for insert name details. Here we have to write input type is equal to text. With name attribute is equal to name and class is equal to form control. After this, forget email data, so here we have to write, input type is equal to email. With name is equal to email, and class is equal to, form control. Next for submit form data, here we have to write, input type is equal to submit. With value is equal to submit, so it will submit form data to submit root. Now we have open server JavaScript file, and here first we have import express module. Next, under this file, we have import body parser module. For handle form data. After this, we have import my SQL2 module for make database connection. Next, for setup express application, here we have to write app variable is equal to express method. After this, we want to use the body parser.url. Middleware to pass form data. Now for make my SQL database connection, here we have to write connection variable is equal to my SQL dot create connection method. With option like host set to localhost, username set to root. Password set to blank, and database name set to testing, so this code will make, database connection. Now for make database connection, here, we have to write, connection.connect, callback function. So this function will try to connect, our application with my SQL database, and this function has one error variable as parameter. Now for check any database connection error, so here we have to write, if statement, with error variable. If this condition true, then it will execute, if block of code, and here, we have to write. Console.log method, with message like, error connection to my SQL, with error variable. So it will print, database connection error, in our terminal. 
Now for display, HTML form on web page. So here we have to write app.get method with three parameter. In first parameter, we have to write slash. In second parameter, we have to write callback function with two parameter like request and response variable. Under this function, we have to write response.send file method and under this method, we have to write directory name statement with slash form.html file so it will display this HTML file on web page. Now for check this output, first we have to set port for this node application. So here we have to write app.list method with two parameter. In first parameter, we have to write 3000 port number. And in second parameter, we have to write callback function. And under this function, we have to write console.log method. And here, we have to write message like server is listening on port 3000, so this message will be display in terminal. Now we have goes to terminal, and here, we have run node server JavaScript file. So it will start run node application, and here we can see message like server is listening on port 3000. Now here in browser, we have write localhost with double colon 3000. So here, we can see that HTML form has been display on web page, and now we have proceed for insert this form data into my SQL table and get last inserted ID. So here, we have to create root for handle form data. So here we have to write app.post method with two parameter. In first parameter, we have to write slash submit, and in second parameter, we have to write callback function with request and response variable, so this root will handle form data. Under this, we have to write name variable is equal to request.body.name variable. And below this, we have write email variable is equal to request.body.email variable. So here, we have store form data under this local variable. After this, we have to write insert query variable is equal to my SQL insert query like. Insert into user table with table column like name and email with values like this placeholder. Now for execute this query. So here we have to write connection.query method with three parameter. In first parameter, we have to write insert query variable. In second parameter, we have to write data like name and email variable in array format. And in third parameter, we have to write callback function with two parameter like error and result variable. This code will execute above insert query and try to insert data into my SQL table. Under this function, for check any error, we have to write if statement with error variable. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and here, we have to write response variable dot send method, and under this, we have to write message like error inserting data. But suppose, there is no error occur, then we have to proceed, forget last inserted data ID. So here, we have to write, last inserted ID variable is equal to, result dot insert ID variable. So here, we have get last inserted ID, and store under this, local variable. Now for display last inserted ID on web page, so here we have to write, response dot send method. And here, we have to write message like, data inserted successfully, and last inserted ID. And for print last inserted ID, here we have to write, dollar with open and close bracket, and between this. We have to write, last inserted ID variable, which will be display on web page. So here, our code is ready, and now we have goes to terminal, for restart application. So here, we have again run node server JavaScript file and goes to browser. And here first, we have refresh web page. So here we can see HTML form on web page.
Now, we have filled this form data, one by one. And now, we have click on submit button, so after click, on submit button. Here we can see that, data inserted success message on web page, and here, we can also see, last inserted ID also. Now we have again goes to, HTML form, and again fill form data, one by one. And then after, we have click, on submit button, so after click on submit button. Here, we can see that, new last inserted ID has been display, on web page. So by following these steps, you can learn, how to create a node, JS server to handle, HTML form submission. And insert data into a MySQL database, and retrieve the last inserted ID. In next video, we will come up with new, Node.js tutorial, and lastly, thank you for watching this video.